I'm uh, John Crutchfield, uh, the owner and artist of the uh, Artemis Gallery, and uh, Brooke asked me to talk a little bit about the 15th anniversary of our founding of the Artemis Gallery. Uh, it was an incredible night where we had all our guests and all our musicians who've played over the years at the Artemis Gallery to partake in the celebration, uh, expressing our gratitude for having had a gallery that uh, could survive 15 years in the heart of the fan district in Richmond, Virginia. And um, we had a f uh, wonderful cake and we had prizes. We gave out over $4,000 worth of uh, gift prizes uh, to commemorate the, um, the celebration. And uh, as far as I know, um, a lot of people couldn't even uh, find parking because uh, it was so packed with people that uh, some people were turned away because they couldn't find parking. There was such a big night on the same night as First Friday. And we're really happy to uh, have made it this far and who knows what the future will hold. But uh, at least at this point in time, uh, Artemis Gallery has survived 15 years and we're very thankful for that. Um, what we have here, an example of some of the artwork that we have in the Artemis Gallery. This is artwork by Herbert Hoffer, who is originally from Austri Austria and uh, who now lives in Miami Beach and who came over to this country in, uh, in 1988 and started doing his artwork and often visits Key West and tropical environments. He paints all kinds of interesting cartoon-like figures uh, representing mostly people as cat figurines. And he's a very well-known artist in the area of South Florida and also has uh, done some renovation work in Miami when he first moved there. Of course, the entire uh, Ocean Terrace area was uh, run down and a lot of these buildings were unoccupied and he was able to buy a building that um, and fix it up before anyone else and became one of the urban renovators, one of the early artists that started a whole renovation uh, uh, thing, scene in Lower um, Miami Beach, which now today is uh, the Art Deco District and one of the most successful, wonderful and exciting areas to, to live in in Miami. And it was because of people like Herbert Hoffer, who um, was a, a urban pioneer that uh, he was willing to move to an area that was dilapidated and fix it up and years later others joined him and the same thing happened with Artemis Gallery uh, when I first moved here in 87. Uh, it was nothing but abandoned warehouses, uh, there was a lot of crime, there were a lot of broken windows, boarded up buildings and I took the effort to renovate a building and make it into a beautiful gallery and uh, the first couple of weeks or months hardly anyone stopped in. It was such a big uh, crime area. But today we now have 12 galleries and we have 36 restaurants that have all moved into the area and now it's become uh, a happening place where people come for First Friday events. We have something like three to 4,000 people that show up for each monthly event. And um, all of it has to do with, uh, you know, taking the effort to be an urban pioneer. And sometimes artists are the first to be willing to do that. And so we're both thankful for uh, Herbert Hoffer, who started the renovation in Miami Beach, and also for the uh, urban renovation uh, done at the Artemis Gallery.